Hello everybody, welcome back to Robert's Train Set. Um, so, this is going to be part 9. And it's um, Sunday the 5th of April, um, at about quarter to 11. And you're all saying to yourself, why the hell are you uh, starting at quarter to 11? Um, well, I've had a Skype call to Australia for about half an hour, which was very nice. Um, and, uh, yeah. Whatever, and I've been trying to answer some of the comments, some of your comments, so whatever. So we're now going to go up in the loft and uh, I'll show you what's been going on. So see you later on. Cheers, everybody. Bye. So here we are, back in the loft. Um, that was strange. I haven't been out in that bright sunshine. I came up here, I couldn't even see the light switch to turn it on. I had to sort of feel for it. It's a good bit of fun. So um, at the end of the last uh, part number seven number eight um i said I, i'm going to try and resist coming up here well, i didn't manage to do that um and what i did do was uh, if i show you um i've got me i got me tea trolley here it's a bit rocky i might have to put a bit of timber under to stop it rocking so the plan today is to get this converted to take my laptop computer um so we'll see that and i said about the chairs didn't i so, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but <laughs> there's my solution for being a bit too low. Um, and obviously it's got wheels, so it's um, it's quite good, although a bit dangerous in that I could go whoosh, and you know, whatever. We'll have to try and stop that, won't we? Get the bit of board over there, like everybody keeps telling me to do. I'll do it at the end. I think it'd be a bit of a pain at the moment to do it, but uh, well, we'll do it. So, um, the layout's not really changed. It's as it was... Um, when you last saw it and uh, um, yeah so that's the job for today and maybe sorting all this wiring out under there looks a bit like spaghetti junction didn't it? So, so I certainly would like to thank all the new subscribers again since I started this series I've had 60 new subscribers which is phenomenal isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, so really glad I started this um, yeah so thank you for all these new people that have come on um, I really do appreciate it uh, and I really appreciate the ones that have been with me from the beginning or just after the beginning so thank you very much um, so I think uh, I better get on with the work don't you um, it's a really nice day outside but of course we're not allowed to go out are we um, so weird um, yeah really strange so, cheers everybody, see you later on, bye. Oh well, welcome back everybody. Um, it's about 5 to 12, um, still on the, uh, the 5th of April. And I think I've got the computer trolley sorted. So if we go and have a look. So there we are. Um, as you can see, I've uh, got the white Conti board on top and a bit of board underneath to locate it into the tea trolley. I didn't want to uh, put any screws into my 60, well, 50 year old tea trolley, so um, I've used uh, white tack to hold it in um, and it, it's pretty good. So it comes out when I need it and it can go back when I don't, which is quite good. Um, the floor was so bad that if I take you around the side here, <coughs> I needed a fairly big piece of timber, about three eighths thick, um, for it to run on. And I don't know whether you might recognise this, you might do, but I'll show you a bit of it in a minute. And I thought with the ridge on it, it stops it, in essence, rubbing into this, um, this bit here rubbing into that bit there I might at some stage um, put another uh, batten along there to, to sort of keep it in line but I don't think I'm going to really need it um, so what did I use so um, if you remember what the computer was on and what the bridge was on it was this bit so all I basically done is just cut this edge off and used it for that. It was just the right thing. Yeah, it's about three eighths, about three eighths thick, something like that. And if you remember the bit of Conti board I had for the snowfield, um, that's part of it, and that's what I got left out of that whole sheet. 
So I think you'd agree that that's pretty good use of the material. Um, so I think after lunch, and as I say it's 12 o'clock, um, I can come up here and uh, get on with me wiring, I think. So it's all going well. It's all going well. So see you later on everybody. Cheers. Welcome back everybody. It's still the 5th of April and it's just about 4 o'clock in the afternoon and you might be able to hear something again. So I've got the little ginty in and it's in the, it's in the station, the semi-detached station or even the detached station. So um, it's been doing very well. I've just had it um, running around the layout. Um, I cleaned the wheels thoroughly on it and it didn't miss a beat. Some of the wagons fell off, uh, sometimes for reasons. For instance, I tried to reverse it in here and that support for the fencing was actually under the, one of the sleepers and so it was called twisting the track <laughs> and it came off. Um, but it's worked really, really well. So I've got my setup here as I want it now. I've got uh, my trolley. Um, I've got the controller at the back there and the power transformer down there for it and then this is my transformer for my computer um, eventually I will have power power sockets either on this member here or on this one uh, on that one maybe that one and then these wires can just uh, go up there at the moment I've got the power from there all the way down here so that socket there which goes all the way back down there and comes in from the bedroom which you can't see because there's a load of stuff in the way but whatever so I'm really happy I'll just take you underneath to show you my wiring don't um, it's not as neat as some maybe but I, I think that if you can see it, I don't know if you can see it really fine wire but I've, I've got them through uh, the, the timbers um, and they just come back uh, to here uh, I'll fit in there. I think I'm going to be ending up being a contortionist by the time I finish with this. So, uh, as I don't have a buzz wire, all these wires come separately from the clips. So they all go there. And then the wire, the black wire going down, goes goes to the trans to the controller which is here and obviously there's plenty of slack so that the trolley can come in so what I'm planning on doing is all this lot so the, the controller and its transformer will stay up here um, I'm gonna get out again uh, might be me Ed I'm glad I put it up at three foot six because at three foot I've been talking me Ed would have been but the computer is going to go back downstairs every time um, along with its transformer uh, and I've found a bag and it all fits neatly in this bag so I can carry it up nice and safely up the set because those steps I like to have one hand free for me and all the wires come through into here into here so the next job will be to get a bit of timber along here to take these embankments um, and obviously I will have a bit of embankment missing here um, which I'll have to make um, so obviously I'm still waiting for Hatton's order um, so when that comes I can uh, lose the snowfield and, and get on with the um, goods yard and whatever I've run it into there as well the gym, into the uh, unloading bay um, so I think just to finish off I'm going to put this on the little tripod here so this is on a little little tiny tripod this one Take it out slowly if I can. See if it sticks, shall we? That's pretty good. So I'll speed it up a bit.
and I'll give you a run round this inner track and uh, that'll be a wrap for today because I'm going to go down and uh, this evening I want to do the editing for number uh, 8 well no I don't I want to do the editing for number 9 and just finish off number 8 for you so this will be in number 9 well it is in number 9 <laughs> forget that And if you remember the other day we ran it on this inner lane and it was stopping and stuttering and whatever, wasn't it? So I'm, I'm pretty happy with this actually. I can get access round the layout pretty well. I think the, the end near the hatch is the worst end to get at at the moment because there's a load of stuff in the way. But when I've finished I'll, uh, I'll try and have a toady. I'm not used to having posts in the way, I must admit. So I'm going to run it over the point again and we'll see if it actually uh, derails it, shall we? I think the engine might do it alright, I don't know whether the, uh, the wagons will make it. So this point is still as it was when it came out. No problem, absolutely super. So, I think that's a success. I know I haven't shown you all of the uh, it running on, but it did run on all the track without missing a beat, which I was really, really pleased about. And this is my, my this is one of my most jittery locos. Um, if it needs running and, you know, if the wheels are slightly dirty, it will stop. Um, so, I'll put my mouse down before it escapes. Hello oh, everybody, I'll, let's have a laugh. <laughs> you think the HST carriages will will cope with speed? I don't think the light up here is that bad, um, considering I've got none of my extra lights on. I think it's pretty good. It's more the camera that can't focus quick enough than uh, anything else. Especially here. So more light would help for this camera. But my video camera would do well. Anyway. I'm going to finish now. I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to do my dinner. I'm going to do tagliatelle bolognese. So I'll, uh, I'll stick a few uh, pictures in. So all running nice. Although I am having trouble with the point it's just beginning to come up to. Uh, not that one, this one here. So I do need to have a go at this one. It seems to be fusing uh, if it goes on the other track. It's not really mine, it's my wife. She taught me how to do it. Um, the mince is just minced with a bolognese sauce. Um, Taglatelli, uh, boiling water, salt in it and uh, put it in. Um, and then when you've cooked the Tagliatelle, hot water in the sink with a strainer and then wash all the starch out of it and it really tastes really nice so it didn't look bad cheers so, so what I would say now except for obviously the track that I haven't got um, the railway is complete it's working um, all the points work except for that one over that I showed you the other day that I just need to cannibalize the other one and uh, I'm happy um, I'm obviously when the new points come I've got more point motors to connect up in another box but that should be alright um, so yeah I'm happy I really am happy um, again I thank all my subscribers um, that have come on and uh, I will get round to the comments eventually I've done some today and I will do some more this evening so I do apologise for ignoring you I shouldn't do that should I but I want to get this running and, and up so so tomorrow, I say that bit of timber under where the um, embankment's going to be, um, and then I might start getting some of the scenery back on. I'll see. Um, could do, couldn't I? Okay, everybody. Uh, cheers. 
Well hello everybody, um, here we are now on the, uh, the 6th of April, so it's uh, Monday the 6th of April um, and believe it or not um, you've missed the early morning briefing because it's now ten pa five past two in the afternoon. Um, so what I've been doing, um, well very stupidly when I went shopping the other day I forgot to get a lettuce for myself so I'd run out of lettuce and I like it in my sandwiches so I went out and got one. And the other thing I ran out of were the vinyl gloves. Um, I have an awful lot of trouble with my hands. Um, they split um, where the nails are. Um, I've, always, I've had it all my life. Um, not ideal um, as a joiner. Even worse if you were a motor mechanic or something, because God knows what would happen. <laughs> anyway, so I used to wear vinyl gloves quite often. Um, and they also, I think what they do is they keep your, your hands moist so that it doesn't split. So, a bit of a pain, but ever. And uh, my shop where I normally get my vinyl gloves from is shut, of course, because there's something going on or something, I think, isn't there? You know? um, anyway, what have I been doing? So, I'll turn you around and uh, I'll show you. So, as you can see, um, we've got a bit more back scene up. Um, and I've actually sort of redone the station a bit. I only had it held with one screw in the middle. I've now got some timber down here so there's actually something to fix another screw into um, and if we come along the embankment here um, I had this bit in before didn't I um, but I've now got I've now reinstated the level crossings minding the post um, and I'm up to about there. Uh, the reason there isn't anything in there is because it's a new bit, isn't it? I've got the bridges back in, or the tunnels, should I say, and I'll do a little bit of a shot from the other side. So as you can see, the, the station is as it was, um, and the back scene's gone in reasonably well there. There's no, I'm going to um, take that with uh, gaffer tape. I usually do it with masking tape because I feel gaffer tape sticks a bit too well, but I will do it now because it's fairly permanent, isn't it? Although, to be honest, this whole system would come out like it's gone in. So we've got the uh, embankment there, which you saw yesterday. And what you didn't see last yesterday was obviously the white plastic at the top. Now I'm going to get some, I've got some green, sort of the, the, the trial paint pots. Um, I'm going to just try and green that out so that you don't see it. Um, and then it goes across there, obviously, <coughs> excuse me, got the level crossing uh, dangerous there's no gates on it anybody could drive across and get hit by a train couldn't they uh, there's some gates on that side so that's all right but ooh, not very good this side is it and then we obviously come to the original bit here and then yeah i've got to build a bit for there um which i'm probably going to leave until it's near enough all done and then i'll um I'll, you know whatever and then we've got our tunnel and our tunnel and the corner embankment um so that's about all I've done today um, but actually it's taken quite a while to do so this bit looks a bit strange but I, what I want to do is I want to actually um, probably glue this bit to that bit now um, which I will do at a later date um, and I also want to pull this this one back a bit so that it's a bit further away from the engines I know it's canted sloping back a bit but then some some tunnel entrances probably did to hold the what was behind them up so that's gone quite well um i think what i might do along here is i've put a bit a nice bit of oak um here to actually actually hold the joint up here because obviously this is all velcro isn't it if you remember and it does tend to spread a bit i can't do it everywhere yeah, so I found up here some, some of this MDF, um, half inch um, or so, um, that I had for when I did the bits in the conservatory that we had built. And what I found was, um, you can slide it down here, and if you notice, I've recut these bits of cardboard that were originally they were the props to hold anything up cut them and then I made it tight so that it does actually force the velcro a bit better against the edge it's never going to be perfect but 
I think it looks reasonably well. Uh, I mean, the proof of the pudding will be in the um, eating when the uh, the drive we get go driver's cab along there. But uh, obviously, this joint's not looking too good, so I might try and glue that. There's Velcro at the top, nothing down here, and I've got no more Velcro. And I should imagine that the haberdashery where I bought it is shut. But as you can see, it's not too bad. I'm 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 happy with that. It's going to look good. So you basically put the bit of um, MDF down force it back and then this bit of plastic here is just pushed in and that tends to force it against the end so this this is the original section I had and I've got another piece of this but this length that you can see here um, has done all these um, you know that's one piece um, and if I show you the end of it so the, the top is fairly obvious you can see the top and the the flat bit is what's over the embankment um but the bottom bit's got that on it which originally probably would have been the outside edge that you would see um so i've had to plane all that off so that you get down to that two mil thickness and then that goes in to the between the board and the the, the fiddle yard um and i found the easiest way to do it which is use my block plane and plane it off um it takes a little while but not too bad so yeah, a little bit of uh, use what you've got, isn't it? I think it looks. I think it looks fairly neat. I've I've given it a good sort of rub with some sandpaper, and I might at some stage paint all this lot. Um, maybe the colour that I've done the rest of the woodwork here, um, but whether whether the paint will take, I don't know. I'll have to see. I mean, it was fairly good quality paint, so I, say. I might have to um, prime it first, but I'll give it a go and see what happens. Um, what's going to happen here all is yet to be determined. It will be an embankment, but I'll have to think about how I'm going to do it. Oh, I've just pulled the cabbages along with the... Uh... One thing I will say about this plastic, if you ever use anything like that, never leave it on the floor where you're working, because it's deadly. You go sliding off and you end up on the floor. You really do. Anyway, I'm, I'm fairly happy with um, the few hours that I've been up here. Um, I'm now going to go downstairs and I think I might have a shower um, and change and then I think I better get on the computer answer the rest of the um, comments I've got uh, I'm trying to keep up with them and then I need to um, edit well load and edit the number nine so anyway um, I'd like to thank any more subscribers that come on it's it, I'm getting one or two here again so pretty good we'll see how this this one does um, and uh, the comments have been really really nice and if you're wondering about the inaugural running on here when it's all finished um, I've got a good sort of selection of locos um, I won't tell you which one is marginally in the front at the moment because it might influence your choice but uh, please please um, you know if you haven't already done so please uh, um, send me in the comments what you'd like to run um so yeah thanks very much everybody and watch out for number 10 um we'll see how we go cheers everybody bye